are going to be reading The Adventures of Bentley Hippo, Inspiring Children to Be Patient. Ooh. Yes, are you excited to read this book today, Robert? I know, I am super excited. I can't wait to see what it's about. Oh, the cover looks wonderful. The author is our Gyrography, and the illustrator is Michael Rays. Don't you love the pictures? Uh-huh. It's like like a show. Yes. Oh, great. Let's get to reading, Robert, okay? Yay! Join yeah. us. Let's read. Woohoo! Okay, are we ready to read? I sure am. All right. Mm. The Adventures of Bentley Hippo, Inspiring Children to be Patient. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be such a wonderful book. I love the cover. Me too. Oh, great. Mm. Oh, and look at that. Green Ooh. hippo. So cute. He must be Bentley. Yes, you're right. Mm. Okay, let's read the story. Yay! It was morning. There was a loud knock at the front door. Peeking through the peephole, Bentley saw Jackson pacing back and forth. Bentley opened the door. Jackson was so excited, he couldn't speak clearly. All Bentley could make out was ride, hurry, and long line up. Oh, look at that silly little monkey. Oh. I wonder what he could be talking about. I don't know, let's see. Oh, there is a pink arrow scratching his head. Bentley figured it was easier to go see what the fuss was about then trying to ask Jackson to repeat his words. They followed the big arrows that took them down a path and onto an open field. Oh. Oh, look at this. It looks like there's something going on. Oh, yes. It was very busy with people walking around, eating ice cream, lots of different noises and big lineups. They walked to the open field there was a huge lineup, and Bentley saw Daisy the giraffe, Toby the elephant, and Marty the lion near the back of the line. Oh. What's going on? asked Bentley. There was an announcement. For today only, the blue rocket will be lifting off. Oh, wow. Yes, and it is supposed to be the ride of a lifetime. Ooh. Marty explained. Jackson's eyes widened. That's what I was telling you earlier, he said to Bentley. Yes. Bentley thought for a moment, hmm, the ride of a lifetime. This has to be the reason so many children are lined up. Mm -hmm. And where did they get the ice cream cones from? I don't know. Bentley, Jackson, and Daisy waited in line as Marty and Toby headed over to grab some ice cream cones for everyone. Yum. Oh, look at those yummy ice cream cones. They look delicious. Delicious. And Bentley is thinking about a rocket to the moon. Ooh. Yes. They returned and joined the others. A few minutes passed and Jackson grew impatient. Uh-oh. Yeah, that can happen to me sometimes, too. Me, too. He ran to the front of the line and tried to sneak in. He was sent back. He couldn't stand still. He tried a second time and again was sent to the back. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, no. Looks like a big mess. Jumping oh, up and yes. down, trying to catch a glimpse of the front, he became frustrated. <gasps> With every jump, he stomped harder and harder and louder. At one point, mm. the ground shook so much that everyone's ice cream fell to the ground. Oh, no! <gasps> what a mess! Sad faces looked at Jackson, but he was too frustrated to notice. He was still trying to find a way to get to the front. Oh, oh my! We have ring toss and the match it up game. Yay, Yay. I can't wait. Yay. The game I'm most lucky about where to is the Massa Duck game. Oh, so you fun. also can win prizes. Yay. Yay! I can't wait to. Oh, this taking so long. When will it be my turn? Oh. Bentley wasn't happy with Jackson's behavior and because he lost his ice cream. If there is one thing that can make a happy hippo unhappy, it's taking away his ice cream. Oh, I don't know. I like ice cream. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm so excited, Jackson cried. Bentley, Bentley, stop frowning. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, it sounds like Jackson's getting a little too excited. Yes, I think so too. Stop it, Bentley told him. Just stand still. But I'm excited, Jackson argued. We all are. But we aren't jumping around and trying to push in. Mm. Just then the ticket agent walked over and warned them to settle down or they wouldn't be allowed on the ride. <gasps> oh no! Oh, oh no, Jackson, come on! Jackson heaved a big sigh and the ticket agent returned to the front. Bentley knew that Jackson sometimes got excited and struggled to stand still and his actions weren't intentional. That means he didn't really mean to do it. Bentley didn't want to miss out on the trip though. He took a deep breath. He would have to practice being patient too. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're thinking. Oh yes. Jackson, it's unfair to try to jump in front of the line. Bentley began to explain. I know, he replied. And jumping up and down affected others around you. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then you started arguing, which is not cool. Mm. Especially as you know, it's important to be kind to others. Yes. You need to be patient. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, Bentley's going to say something important. Mm -hmm. Bentley could see Jackson did appear to be sorry, but he wasn't sure what being patient meant. Oh. Being patient is when you have to remain calm, even when you're excited. When you are feeling impatient, there are things you can do to help, oh. like directing your attention to others and talking to them. You, oh. you like talking. Oh, I'm sure he does that, Jackson. Oh. Or you can play a game like I Spy, or take deep breaths to calm down, or how about this? Look at the clouds. Can you see what shapes they are? Everyone looked up and called out the shapes they could see in the clouds. Circle, triangle, bunny. How fun. Mm -hmm. Those are some good ideas. Yes. Oh, great ideas. today, Robert. Uh-huh. Okay, let me help you. While you're waiting, you can play I Spy, spot shapes in the cloud, or you can talk to a friend. He loves space. Ooh. And before they knew it, they were in front of the line. Oh, oh how yes. exciting. I see you all behaved as I asked you to, said the ticket agent. Oh. Jackson quickly nodded, and the agent handed them tickets. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, look how happy Jackson is. They look so excited. Yay. They looked at their tickets, then each other, then the tickets again, with huge grins on their faces. Ooh, follow me, said the ticket agent. They were led around the corner. There it was, the big blue rocket. Whoa, only it wasn't a rocket at all. Huh? They were confused. Where's the blue rocket? Yeah. Jackson asked. Hmm, I wonder where it is. Yeah. Hmm. The ticket agent pointed to the sign that read, fly high on the blue rocket. Oh, oh. okay, let's see. Oh, there it is. Bentley's friends looked at him. They knew he must be disappointed as this didn't look like it was going to be the trip to the moon. This was a giant hot air balloon. Oh, oh, but it looks so fun, doesn't it? I don't think the blue rocket was what they thought it was, but it looks funner. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. Bentley shrugged, looked at Marty, and then the excited Jackson and said, well, it's not a rocket ship, but it is really cool. Let's get on and go for a ride. Mm -hmm. Jackson stepped forward, looked over at the others, then asked, who wants to get on first? Oh, he's being kind. Mm -hmm. Once they were all in, the balloon lifted off, heading into the sky. Everyone had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. They looked down at the children below. They looked like tiny dots. Oh, <laughs> they must have went really high. 
This ride is awesome, said Toby. Ooh. Bentley smiled at his friends. This isn't what I expected, but today Jackson learned about being patient. Mm -hmm. And if he hadn't knocked on my door, we would never have come this high. Oh yeah. It's the highest I've ever been, the closest I've been to space, and I am happy you're all here with me. Oh, look, they're having so much fun. They looked at Jackson, who was in his own space, reaching out, trying to grab some clouds. <laughs> they all laughed, including Jackson. What they a great so story. Yes, I love the story. What about you? I love it. He loved the story. So many great things we learned today from this story. For sure. We learned how to be patient. Yes, we mm -hmm. learned ways, yeah, things to do to keep us busy while we're waiting in line. Yes. Great. Okay, let's stay for the book review, and you can hear what we think about this book. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to our book review. Today, we are reviewing our book, The Adventures of Bentley Hippo, inspiring children to be patient. Oh, Robert, Ooh. didn't you love this book? I love it. You love this book. Oh, it's such a great book. I love how the illustrations are just so beautiful, so well done, so vibrant in color, so detailed. Oh, it's just perfect. It's like you're watching a show. Yes. Exactly. Oh, the pictures just really take you in. And I love the storyline. Me too. Yes, I think it's so great for kids and parents to read this book. Oh, kids will feel so nice to hear that others feel impatient too. Yes. And what did you think about the uh, examples they gave us about helping with, um, you know, being impatient? Oh, yes. I remember some of the examples. One of them was to count the clouds. And I like that yes. one because there were so many different shapes oh, and yes. sizes. And it's so fun to look at them. Oh, you're so right. Yes, and I spy and taking a deep breath. And talking to someone. Oh, yes. Oh, there's so many things we can do to try to help kids when they're feeling impatient. Oh, yes. Oh, sure. Oh, yes. My favorite thing is I spy. Ooh. Yes. My other favorite thing is talking to someone about something. Oh, yes, maybe about a movie they just saw. Oh, oh such mm -hmm. great ideas. What a great job you did, our Gyro Graphy and yeah. Michael Rays. We love your work. We love and we it. hope you come back for our next Storytime episode yeah. next week. Stay tuned. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Ready? <laughs> <laughs>